a wild people's a boy chin back in there and I'm back with the chin judges and we just gotta get straight into the fixtures now. So Tottenham versus Liverpool, Tottenham bottled it. Ha! You bottled it. Yet again, I knew they would do it. Cause they always bottle it these days. Um Tottenham won Liverpool too, but that result did not have the uh whole complexion of the game, to be honest. Cause it could have been six nil to Liverpool. Could have been six or seven, possibly eight. Cause they had so many chances and also um the first goal, um like the first minute should have stood for Liverpool. Um but nevertheless it was a comfortable win for Liverpool in my opinion. Very comfortable win. Um so move on to the next fixture some the one team that has really shocked me are Bournemouth. Bournemouth really shocked me. They've started they've just started the season really well. Really, really, really well. Smacking Leicester man. Wow. Jeez man. Bournemouth will not be an easy game. It will not be an easy game. Uh, especially when we go away from home. As um, Arsenal lost there last year. Speak of Arsenal, we won another away game. Another away win. Get in there, boys. Come on. Another away win. Against Newcastle this time. He, uh, in my opinion, were poor. Really, really poor. Um, throughout the whole game, really. Arsenal were poor in the first half. The second half, we switched it on. Like, we need to do this throughout the whole 90 minutes. If you do that, then I promise you. I promise you, we will get top four. I'm telling you. Um, yeah, man. Um, what are the games? Oh, yes. City versus Fulham. Comfortable win, comfortable win for City. 3 0. Chelsea. Um, a 4 1 win for them. I think if, if Liverpool don't challenge City, then Chelsea will. Though I think Chelsea will get third overall. I think it's go. I think I think top four is going to be exactly the same as thirteen fourteen, and I think it's gonna be very similar to thirteen fourteen, like the whole season, like the title race. I think it's gonna be just like that. Um. And yeah, man. Um. What are the games? Huddersfield versus Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace won. Why? You know why. Wilfred Zaha at it again. And I rate this guy, man. He's a really good player. Really, really, really good player. It just goes to show that he can be really important uh, in in any game. Really, really important. Um, also, Watford versus Man United. And then 2-1 to United. I thought Watford should have got at least a draw, a draw at that game. The thanks to De Gea... United walk away with the three points. Um, what other games? There was uh, Wolves versus Burnley. That one. They ended 1 0 to Wolves, but Wolves could have easily won 6 0, in my opinion. But Burnley, man. Burnley, they could be going down, you know, after finishing 7th last year. Having a great season, We're winning at the likes of Chelsea and all that. Their away form uh, was really good last year. Now, altogether, they just look a complete mess. It's not good for them and for Sean Dyche. So he's got a lot to do at Burnley. A lot to do. Not good at all. Not good. Um, I'll see next game. We had Everton versus West Ham. Now, West Ham got a huge three points. Huge three points. It was a must win for them. And they did win 3 1. Um, and Everton, uh, not a good performance. I thought, well, they did have chances. They could have got at least a draw. But pretty wasteful, to be honest. Um, so, Arsenal should really dispatch them on Sunday. Hmm. See what happens. Um, and also, the Southampton versus Brighton game tonight. What a game that was. Jeez. 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two draw. Um, 
Good game. Really good game. Loads of drama. Obviously, good. Glenn Murray scoring that penalty, penalty right at the end. Good game. Um, I might do the Champions League preview um, tomorrow. Uh, like maybe like an hour before the before kick off. Also, also I'm gonna be focusing mainly on the Liverpool PSG game, which will be probably the biggest game of the Champions League so far uh, this season. So yeah, man. Let me make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace out.